Welcome back. It is day seven. Oh my god. Wait. Is it day seven or day... Day seven! Damn. Day seven. One whole week. Incredible. Incredible. Who would have thought we'd make it so far? Who would have thought? And today's back and biceps. Uh, so I think actually today we're going to be doing deadlifts instead of uh, bent over rows. And why are we going to be doing deadlifts? Because I think it'll look better for the thumbnail. And I haven't had done deadlifts in like a month. So might be fun. I... Haven't done deadlifts. I usually don't do deadlifts as much when I'm home in my home gym because I don't necessarily have the weight to go heavier. Uh, I can usually rep like 370 or like five ish. So my weights, which only go up to 315 in like the Olympic bar, they're good, but I just have to do more reps. So it's more of a volume workout than a strength workout. And when I do deadlifts, I'm usually doing them to train deadlifts, not necessarily my back. Um, but yeah, I figured we'd do deadlifts today anyways. And then from there on, we'll do a bunch of different types of rows and pulls. And then we'll move on to biceps, cable curls, curls, hammer curls, probably call it there. Uh, I'm going to go have some pre hang out for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Then I'll go down to the dungeon and get the workout started. Day seven. Let's get it. Come on. Who's going to stop me? No one. Let's get, let's go. Get right down to business. Welcome back. We in the dungeon. I uh, got the bar on the ground. We're ready to go. Um, slight correction. I do not have 315 pounds worth of weight. I have 300. So, even worse. We do have a few additional thingamajigs, whatchamacallits, and doodads with us today. Because it's deadlift, I have a little bit of chalk here as I personally prefer it over... Lifting straps, if if I have it, which I do. Between I have both, and between the two, chalk is easily my preferred method. The other doodad is a lifting belt. I don't know if I'll use it. I don't really think I will, as the weight's not going too crazy, but I definitely won't use it till more than like 250 depending on how many reps I do. If I do a lot of reps, I might throw it on because that's, you know, not the best. Just to protect, help keep my core stable, stuff like that, protect my back. So, yeah, let's... One of the actual upsides of having weights that don't really match that well, like these do, is that it's not as hard to load them. Because all my weights get progressively smaller. <laughs> so I don't have to like pick it up to put another 45 on. That's pretty nice.
Those are fine. I have to definitely put chalk on <laughs> moving forward. My hands are sweaty as fuck and are not sticking to that bar. So, chalk next one. That's all of them. All the weights that can fit on that bar are on that bar. Well, the ones I have in this basement at least. <laughs> so, there you go. That is 300 pounderoos. Count them up. I think I'll do one more set, um, and then I'll call it for deadlifts. Not really trying to go too crazy with them right now, but this is a good way to ease myself back in to deadlifts, as I haven't done in a while. And I mean, it's something I definitely should do if I'm thinking about competing in powerlifting or something like that. One of these days, I do want to test out my PRs. Um, because I haven't done that, and I have no idea what my deadlift PR is. I'm assuming my bench PR is still somewhere around 215. I want to get 225 so bad. And then my squat PR, no clue. I might be able to hit like 300 or something. But, yeah, definitely something I want to do one of these days. Probably towards the end of the cut, though. Ooh. All right, deadlift done. Feels good. Fuck, it's hot down here. I'm sweating a lot. Really hot. Really fucking hot down here. I cannot reiterate how fucking hot it is. It's not fun. But deadlift is done, so we're going to do some pull ups many as possible just like last time hopefully get four or five that'd be awesome be fucking awesome but yeah enough talking let's do it get to it um i guess i can put this here again Ooh. Five. Let's go. Hopefully, I think the last rep was a little. I don't know if I went all the way up, but I'll count it. I'll count that. I count that. I count that every time, baby. So it's just become apparent to me that this fucking. Most of these angles make me look like I'm five foot. And honestly. That's sick, because I'm, I'm actually only, like, 4-3. Uh, so, you know, anything that helps, really. This is, this is awesome. I'll take 5 foot any day. Any day. Ah. 
Ow, I hit my fucking elbow. There's some foul play at play here. I just recorded a set and it did not record. So, listen, I'm not calling names, but it seems like someone's preying on my downfall and kind of fucked up. So, I will be sending cease and desist letters to several people. I know what you're doing. I'm on to you. What do you think you're think you're clever? Stabbing into my phone lines. Ugh. This is fucking deranged. What am I doing? I'm just doing single arm. Dumbbell rows. One minute and then the next I'm being fucking crazy. Low to high, uh, high to low cable rows. Wow, low to high to low. Fuck, I keep getting it wrong. Ah. 
Back's done. Buy some time. Let's get it.
That's a wrap. Day seven workout done. Back and buys done. Pretty good workout. I was happy with it. So, yeah, awesome. All right, day seven. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let's see. This will come out on the 28th. Because today this is the 27th. And yeah, I'll put macros and everything in the comments. Not the comments, the description. I have, haven't done that for the past few couple videos. But I can go back and do that, actually. So uh, come back tomorrow for leg day. Ooh. The most fun day, the funnest of days. All right. See you. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.